We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. The women of aviation. I'm Bailey, and today we're gonna do an activity with the magic ball and cup. We're gonna have a lot of fun playing with some uh, principles of aerodynamics and uh, things that aviation uses for uh, flight, things like air pressure and, and thank you, thank you, appreciate that. I guess, yeah. Okay, now that we have our lab coats on, all you really need for this activity are two plastic cups and a ping pong ball. That's all you need for today. For today's activity, we're gonna be performing a bit of a trick, moving the ping pong ball from this cup to that cup without touching it. So, how do you think we can do this? Maybe brainstorm some ideas of ways you can do that without touching it? I might have given you guys a hint already about uh, aviation and aerospace kind of ideas, some, some airflow things. So, the way you do it is, I'm gonna hold the cups because I keep blow I can blow them off apparently. Is you hold this. Ball down. Well, find a different ping pong ball. Try again. Hey! So that is from thank you from Bernoulli's principle. So Bernoulli was uh, a really intelligent person a while ago who figured out that um, in basic terms, a, an increase in velocity, so blowing, air moving, equates to a decrease in pressure. So when you're blowing on the cup, you're actually creating a bit of a low pressure area and the ping pong ball will then move from that higher pressure area in the bottom towards the lower pressure area. And that's how you get to move it from one cup to the other. This is used in flight. This is also, uh, that's part of how airplanes fly, that's where the lift comes from and things like that. Uh, this is also, you can see this in your bathroom. If you turn on the shower, sometimes your shower curtain will like move towards the water as it's running. And that's because the velocity of the water is decreasing the pressure and that brings the, uh, brings the shower curtain towards it since there's higher pressure outside the bathtub and lower pressure inside. And the place you can see it is with my receipt from lunch today. If you blow on it, it raises up into the stream of air because there's lower pressure where I'm blowing than it was uh, below it where there's no, no air blowing. Science, right? Pretty cool. It's really fun being able to see some of the things that um, do something as complicated as help an airplane fly um, demonstrated with simple, something as simple as a piece of paper. Let's try this a couple more times just to show the activity. So let's... And it's okay if you don't get it. It's sometimes a little tricky just because you have to blow just right to get the air in the right spot. Uh, I found that if you blow kind of towards the, the top bit right here, not all the way over, but just over the, just under the rim, that's the best that I've, that works for me anyway. Hey, I got it. I hope you've enjoyed the activity and hopefully you have a new trick and a uh, new skill that you can share with your friends and share the knowledge, you know, share that, uh, the science behind it as well. I personally really enjoy getting to see something so um, practical and hands-on as moving a ball from a cup to another cup uh, since, you know, air pressure and airflow definitely play into how airplanes fly and the systems that go into those aircraft. So thank you again for joining us and I hope you enjoy the rest of Women in Aviation Week. Bad aim. <laughs> <laughs>